Hi, this is Sue Polinski again, and today we are working with um, adding an image to a website when the image is not on my website. It's in fact, it's on my computer. In fact, it's on my desktop. There's a little image over here called 2011 New Year JPEG. It's a Happy New Year message. And I'm going to put this image onto my website and magically move it to the site. So what I do is I click where I want the picture to go. I want it to go to the left of the H in Happy New Year. Eventually I want it to align and wrap correctly, but first let's get the picture there. So I go image from my computer. I find my desktop because that's where my picture is. Now you can start searching around, but I happen to know it starts with 2011. So I'm just going to start typing 2011 and I find my picture right there. And then I click select and it puts the picture right there in my tech aligned badly, but it's there. So what I want to do is align it. I, you can do this many ways. I'm a right clicker. So I right click, I pick align and I pick left. And now my picture is aligned to the left of my text. It would make me happier if there was a little bit of space between the text and the picture. So I'm going to right click it again and I'm going to pick image properties. And on my image properties I see this screen right here and I'm going to add some horizontal padding. Padding horizontally gives you white space to the left and right. Vertical padding gives you white space on the top and bottom. So I'm going to pick a number like, oh, 10. 10 pixels aligned to the left. And alt text is something I want to bring your attention to. This is what you should do for each picture to help out people that are visually impaired or turn off images. It helps make your site ADA compliant. So we go Happy New Year 2011 to Tech Triad Clients. And that's text that tells someone who can't see the picture what the picture is. I click OK. Remember, I added 10 pixels of horizontal padding. And when I click OK, we will have a little bit of horizontal padding that will probably show up when I publish the page. Some things are not always uh, happening on the screen as you'd like them in Contribute, but we go with the flow. So I publish the page and do, 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 do. what I learn by publishing it as soon as it publishes is that this picture has added the white space I asked it for. It's aligned to the left and it's got the alt tag. That's the text that I typed. This is very helpful to people who can't see pictures. It's, it's a good thing to do. Now if I go back to edit the page, let's see if I can squeeze this in in the few seconds I have left. If I go someplace else on this page, oh let's just say over here and I delete this picture and I say image from my website, what I'm going to find is that my 2011 New Year picture has been moved to my website. It's now on the website. It's been published to the website. And if I click OK, it puts the picture in there. I can align it to the left. I don't particularly want that picture there, but you, once it's on your website, you can use it again and again. Just a fast reminder, I can change the properties. I can add some padding. I can put in my alt text. I can click OK. And then when I publish the page again, I'll get that picture in a second time. Step one, get it onto your website. Step two, use it as many times as you want. And that's how you get a picture to your site. See you at the next screencast.